This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. After talking to Philip and Mr. and Mrs. Anaman, I was just completely upset. My heart any relationship of any sort with him. Deep within me, Philip wasn't the problem. I was angry. Why? Why, Joey? Why did you have to leave me like this? It's been seven years since you died, but it feels like yesterday. I was just about to call Ian when Akusia called me back. Hey, Akusia. Hey, mommy. You sound dull. What's wrong? Oh, um, just some personal issues. Oh, is it work stuff? Yeah, kind of. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Mommy, it's about the chat we had. Look, Akusia, honestly, this thing you and your boyfriend have done. I'm not happy at all about it, and I don't want to be a part of it in any way. I get you, but see, the guy sends the money. I told you I will share mine with you. I don't want anything. Please, Mommy, I beg. Mommy, all I want you to do is just talk with him on video so he sees you. All he wants. Ah, Akosia, are you serious? Because of a car, you want to pull me into this fraud? I beg, keep me out of this. Sis, look, when the car clears from the port, that's it. I don't want Spikey to know about this. It's just between the two of us. <laughs> and and when he comes looking for me and, and, fi- and finds me eventually, what do I tell him? Oh, your photo was used to defraud him, that's all. <laughs> he can't do anything. The guy has fallen madly in love with me. Or let's say you. Okay, me. No, you. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Wow, Mommy, see. I beg you. What kind of silliness is this, Akusia? Look, I haven't reported this because you're my very good friend. And from past experience, I don't want to have any form of association with this. Please, confess to this guy before the end of the week or I'll have no option than to report to the police. Good night. Akosia was treading on dangerous ground. I had too much to deal with, so I just had to ignore this for now. I called Ian immediately. I missed him and I wanted to tell him about my day. Hello, Ian. Mommy. Oh, um, you, you're in bed already? Yeah, I fell asleep immediately I got home. What about you? Nothing. Maybe I'll just resign soon. Or if a new position pops up, I'll apply for it. I can't take this pressure from him anymore. It's annoying. <sighs> Philip? Yeah. He's just a pain in the neck. Well, you need to tell him your mind. Ian, I've done that over and over again. He's frustrating me so much. (laughs) Well, you better find another job then. But why don't you give him a chance? Who? Philip? No, he's too old. Ew. Wait, too old to... To do everything. Everything like... Everything like too old to be sweet. (laughs) This girl, pa... He will give you some grown man sex. Oh, please. If it's sex I want, I have too many guys around me, like beads. But have you for once thought about having sex with Philip? Not in a million years. Never. Ah, Ian. (laughs) You, pa. It's been seven years now. You've ignored every man who's come your way. I know you loved Joey very much. Here's the fact. You got to let it go. You need to let Joey go off and it's, move it's on. It's so hard, Ian. I can't simply let go. I'm, I'm in between hot and cold. Look, I've never told you this. What? The reason I sent my kids to live with my mom is because it's so hard to look them in the eyes. Honestly, what are you saying, mommy? Ian, just the mere thought of knowing that the one guy I truly loved... Joey? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, Joey. The same person who raped me terribly years ago. I sometimes, I sometimes want to scream at him and throw my anger at him for what he and the boys did to me. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, mommy. I understand your pain. No, no, you don't. You don't. No one does. No, absolutely no one. No, Joey raped me. Joey raped me. And apparently on that night, he was the one who tied me to the door and kicked me in the abdomen and raped me over and over again. You need no, you must move on past this. Look, how am I supposed to do this? Please. He, he's not even here anymore to take responsibility. He gave you his kidney to save your life. If it wasn't for him, you'd be dead. And that's a fact. Look, Ian, I, I wish I were dead. I wish I had died when I was attacked by the arm robbers. Mommy. Hey, Mommy. The boys who raped you are in jail. <laughs> yes, Ian. Yes, Joe. Joe gives me the physical satisfaction I need. But you fought hard to get your justice for your case. <laughs> it doesn't heal the emotion. It doesn't heal my emotional pain. I'll tell you what. Nothing would. Nothing. If you don't start to let go of Joey, you can't move on. It's been eight years since you were raped. I know time doesn't fly quickly with things like this, but eight years? Come on, that should be long enough to have moved on. No, Ian. Do you know what my birthday does to me? Look, I have stopped celebrating my birthday because it reminds me, it reminds me of the ordeal I went through. I can't seem to move on, Ian. I simply can't. Tolerated you within the girl you lied to me. All the love I showed you, but you never ride for me. If we got together, tell me who you try for me. Oh, yeah. I got my flaws, and you got your own. If I know we know we perfect, baby, but we still get grow. Oh, I got my flaws, and you do got your own. If I know we know be perfect, my girl, see we still the I don't want to lose you to another guy. Well, you have been through a lot. Wait, do you hear from your dad? No, no. Look, I, I, I don't even want to. What about the other guys who were jailed? My dad, my dad is doing 40 years in jail. Rodney was released. I, I think he did two years in jail. But, but for the rest of the boys who raped me, I think they are doing 15 years. Ah, uh, what about your stepsister? Francine, she's doing 20 years. Well, I guess they deserve it. The post-traumatic moment I had been going through for the past seven years since the court found them guilty was unimaginable. I was having nightmares, depression and all kinds of difficult emotions. I thought I had healed completely, but I guess things like this never go away. Anytime I spoke to Ian, I must confess, I fell in love with him. He always knew how to cheer me up. I became so attached to him, but I never for once showed him any sign I wanted any commitment. But on this very night, I needed a man to touch me, hold me, talk to me. It had been years since I ever... I guess you know what I'm talking about. So I opened up to Ian. I, I can't sleep, Ian. I know, Mommy. We have a pretty long day tomorrow. If you don't cut some rest, you're going to be falling asleep behind your desk. I'm, I'm lonely. I'm so, I'm so lonely. This is hard. What am I going to do? Maybe I should call Philip. And, and do what exactly? You're vulnerable. If you make the wrong move, you will regret your actions in the morning. Ian, um, can I spend the night at your place? Please, before I do something, I will regret. Wait, now? You want to come over now? Yeah. It's late, mommy. Hey, you know what? Okay, fine. Let me come and pick you up. Is that okay? I'll be so grateful. Okay, let me put on some clothes and set off. I should be there in about like, what, 20 minutes? Thanks a lot, Ian. I really appreciate this. I'm going to pack some work clothes for tomorrow. I sure. Don't forget to pick your toothbrush. I don't have a spare here. <laughs> sure, I would. Please, rule number one. <laughs> what is it? If you comb your hair and litter the whole house with hair, 
you will sweep it afterwards. <laughs> really? Okay, I promise I would. I even have to leave it on the floor. So when your other girls come to your house, they will know someone was there. This girl, you are silly. <laughs> oh, maybe I should intentionally drop my panties in your stuff. <laughs> I will so kill you. I am setting off now. See you soon. Thanks a lot, Ian. I owe you one. I felt bad knowing what my real intentions were for Ian. As I was going to spend the night at his place, I wasn't thinking straight. That much I knew. It had been so long since I had sex and I couldn't hold it any longer. I had been waiting for Ian to ask me out or try to hit on me or, or something. But this guy simply wouldn't even go near any of that. Sometimes I would dress up so good and put on the best of perfumes and all. With my hips looking so wide and my ass looking so big and you know showing off a little boobs all to get his attention. But Ian would only tease and comment and pass. I wanted Ian to marry me. Ian is a good guy. Trust me, he is. So I wore my 90s, packed my office clothes and waited patiently for him. Then I had a call from an unexpected person. Hello. Hi, mommy. Yes, hi. Who is this, please? Wow. It's good to hear your voice again after so many years. Uh, your your voice sounds familiar. Mommy, it's Dr. Addison. What? Dr. Addison? Yes. What do you want from me? I, I don't think I want to be on this call with you, with all due respect. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. Please, I know. You have every right to hang up on Doc, me. Doc, I'm sorry, but anyone that reminds me of my past stays Mommy, in the past. I know. Look, I have gone heaven and back to find your number. Doc, it's been Doc, seven Doc, whole Doc, years. Please, I'm serious. But you know what? Good night. I was thrown into utmost shock at this man's impudence to call me. I was in a state of shock. I was angry. Do you remember Dr. Addison? This was the same doctor who took a bribe for my father to have me killed. This was the same doctor who lied to me about not being able to get pregnant if I didn't hurry up. All because the court wanted a ritual baby. How did this man even find me? After I cut the line on him, he sent a voice note. Mommy, listen. The former president of the country wants to speak with you. Just hear what he has to say to you. It's very important. <laughs> 